very important to have a very thorough neurological, neuropsychological evaluation. Even then, it's pretty hard to separate these kinds of dementias and also to separate um, the symptoms of actual dementia from other symptoms which may be treatable. And that's why it's so important to look at this early on because the symptoms of dementia could be caused by treatable conditions like a brain tumor, like a mixture of medications that a person is taking, like the current climate where people are socially isolated, forget how to talk to each other, they feel like they're losing their memories, but it's not really dementia, it's a function of the current social isolation phenomenon. So before one is sure that they have dementia, everything else should be ruled out that's treatable because dementia is progressive in all cases of real dementia. And you progress from one stage to another, some people say eight stages. And when you're between moderate and severe dementia, that's a pretty difficult time where you need care from the outside. And at that point, some people think, okay, I don't wanna live like this. I know what's gonna come. I want ways to end my life. And if you don't have dementia or if you have something treatable, that should never happen. You should make sure that whatever symptoms you have could be caused by something treatable.